Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Randy the Reseller. Today, I have a thrift haul. A couple of our local thrift stores, every holiday that comes by, they have a 50% off sale. So, I always try to rack up. I went out on President's Day, and they were having the 50% off sale. So, I got, I think it ended up being like 97, almost 100 pieces. So, if you're interested in seeing what I got for 95 cent per piece, stick around. It's coming up. stack of bras here. I've never really sold a lot of bras on Poshmark or eBay or anywhere else, but I see people have a lot of, of success. So since they were 50% off, I think they ended up being some 50 cent and some 25 cents. So I thought I would give it a shot and they're falling all over the place. So the first one is this Victoria's Secret kind of polka dotted push-up bra. This is a 34C in very good use condition. And then I got this Bassarette. This is new with tags, uh, 34C. Of course, they all have adjustable straps. And then another new with tags, Bassarette and a 34C. Ah, up. Yeah, here we go. So I'll lock those two up together and sell them as a set. Next is this Wacol, Wacol. Y'all tell me how to say it. There's the tag. Um, the original sale price was $52. No fancy nails here, y'all. Anyway, this is it. Of course, they, I think they all have adjustable straps. And then there's another of the same brand in a 34C. Just a light green. I'm not even going to attempt to say this name. <laughs> not even going to try to. Just, there you go. Um, I actually looked up the comps on these, and they, you know, like $18 to $25. And they just went in the floor. So, anyway, all of these, all of these last ones I'm going to show you are 42D in this brand. So, here's the blue one. And another 42D, just a black and white stripe. And then we have this orange and black. Well, I thought this was really cute. It's got the extra little strap there, just an orange black floral print. Really cute. And the last bra is the same brand, same size, in a plaid print. These are all nearly brand new. Then I found these three tops. That's Calvin Klein. Um, my tank tops. I normally don't pick up a lot of Calvin Klein anymore. It just doesn't do that well for me. But I found three of these tops in different prints, all in the same size. And since it was half off, they were only 50 cents. So I thought I'd give it a try. I'm just going to lock these up together. Hmm. And sell them as one. But they kind of yeah, I have the kind of drape neck. And one of them, I found a, I don't know if it was this one. Seems like one of these had a tiny little spot in the back. Maybe not. I thought it was these. But anyway, here's the second one. And these are all size large. Okay. And the last one. You know, I'm not I'm not seeing the spot on these. It must have been a different shirt. This is the last of those. Like I said, I'll just lock those up together and sell them as one. Okay, then I found this Torrid top. This is in a size zero, a Torrid size zero. Just kind of a basic black. Quarter button down top. It has the little front pockets. I don't know how, you, how good you can see the black, but anything tore it in decent shape at a decent price, I pick up. It doesn't sell for a whole lot, but it sells really quick. It's always a guarantee. Then I found this Eddie Bauer linen blend, or no, actually 100% linen. Little button down jacket. Okay. 
Let's pick that up. And then this is gonna be fun. I'm not even sure what this is. I don't know. It's um spiritual gangster. It's one size. Can you see that? I don't know if this is a beach cover up or a robe. I'm not sure, but it's cute. I would use it as a swimsuit cover up. Then I found this Lily Pulitzer. I am not sure what size this is. This is the Gramercy style top. I don't see a size. I don't see a size. I'll have to take measurements on this. But it's a Gramercy style top. I don't know what the print is. If anyone knows this print, please let me know in the comments. Usually can find them, but sometimes it takes a long time to find the different. Then I found this Harry Potter sweater. Really cute. And this thing is so soft. I'm not into Harry Potter. Um, at all. I don't know anything about it. Otherwise, I might keep this for myself just because it feels so soft and comfortable. This is a size large. What is this material? 77%, 77 rayon and polyester. But it's very soft. Okay, next we have this tunic. This is Lior Luke's. I, I've never heard of this one. I'm going to have to look it up, but it looks, it's almost, when I first saw it, I thought it was anthropology. It's very cute. It has the sequins on the bottom. Very cute top. And this is also, nope, this is a size small. Okay, then we got this. What are you? Mr. Black, this is a Sandra Daring, another brand I've never heard of. This is a size 14. Just a little black top with beading along the bottom, around the neckline and on the sleeves. And what I thought was kind of neat about this shirt is it's kind of draped in the back instead of the front. This is a really pretty top. And we got this J. Jill. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I love J. Jill. So comfortable. This is a size medium. I have plenty of them, otherwise I might keep this one. This is a linen. I believe it's 100% linen. It may be a linen blend. But it's just a light blue, kind of sky blue button down, long sleeve top. And what are you? What are you? Sophie and Kate. This is just a, a banded lined tank top. It ties in the back around the neck. Very cute summer top. It's kind of a dreamsicle orange color, is the best way I can describe it. Okay, next is this J. Crew top. Um, it's a real sparkly, cream colored. Black polka dot top, polka dot top, and uh, extra small. This doesn't look like it's been worn, but anyway, I found this one in the cream and black, and then I found another black with the white polka dots, also in an extra small. So I grabbed both of these. Both of them look like they've never been worn. And then we have this. Is it 14th? Yeah, 14th in Union sweater. I don't know the size on this one. I'm blind. I believe that's the size medium. Okay. Yeah. Just a long sleeve, super soft sweater. It's got the ruffled sleeves. Then I found this Talbot's long sleeve top and a size eight. Um, this is a really thin, soft kind of fabric, kind of a springtime shirt. It's really soft. Okay. 
And next is this American Eagle, just a vintage boyfriend. Plaid top. And this is a size small. I got this it's Oscar De La Renta. Um, it's a robe and gown, but it's impossible to show you both of them together. So, here's the gown. This is a beautiful, beautiful set. Has the ties, tied just under the breast. This is a size small. And then the robe, I believe, is a size medium, yeah. Size medium, but it ties, and the tie's not, um, you're not gonna lose it because it's sewn on. It doesn't go all the way around to the back, just to the sides. And that looks almost brand new as well. And then, I don't, y'all, I don't know why I pick up Michael Kors tops. If you watch my last video, I just saw one on auction on eBay for $1.97 that I had had for over a year. But sometimes I see them, I can't pass them up. Still make that mistake when they're only 50 cent a piece. So this is a Michael Kors black and white polka dotted, just a t-shirt. Has the gold Michael Kors logo on the bottom. I really don't know. I guess the shirts are just saturated because he makes some really nice tops. This is a size extra large. And then I got this Silence and Noise. This is a size small. It's a tank top. Got the zippered straps. And let's see, yeah, this is a Nike Golf size medium. Top, again, this doesn't look like it's ever been worn. So maybe once or twice. Just has the little Nike logo on the bottom. And then we got this Victoria's Secret size small. Three quarter sleeve crop blouse. It's kind of, I don't know, purple, purple and gray. I think that's purple and gray. It's hard to tell under all these lights. Okay, and then this is a Fred David size extra large. Fred David doesn't sell that well for me. I typically wouldn't pick it up, but this was a, a cute top and you know we're coming into spring and summer. So I thought I'd pick it up and give it a shot. It has the elastic banded waist. The big, I, I don't know what kind of sleeves you call these. I don't know if it's dolman when they're that short, but anyway, that's that. Then I got this Harley Davidson. What size are you? Extra large. Harley Davidson, um, kind of, I guess, I don't know if this is cap sleeves, but they're not, they're shorter than short sleeves, but it's not a tank top. Um, it's not really cap sleeves. I'm not sure what you call that, but anyway, that's it. Let's see the front. Spread it out so you can see it. The front is really cute. There's a rose. It's uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia on the back. And then I found these Torrid shorts. I'm pretty sure these are brand new. Um, it still has a little... Tag, but I don't know what it's called. I heard someone calling it a dongle. I don't know. Maybe that's it, but whatever it is, it's still there. These are a size 22. It's the uh, paper bag waist. It's black with a hot pink and white stripes. And pockets in the back. And the side pockets on the front. These are adorable. Okay. Got this THML tank top in size small. This is adorable. 
And I'm pretty sure this is a brand I've never heard of. Patty, Patty Boutique, I don't know. This is a size medium, It's just a tank top. Um, I picked this up because it looks brand new and it feels like really good quality. I haven't done the comps on it yet, so I have no idea if it's worth anything or not, but it's, I shouldn't have a problem selling it. It's a cute basic top. Then we got this pink peony. Little cropped tie bottom shirt. This has got to be either a kid. Okay, it's a size small. That might be a kid small. I have to look at that closer. I don't know. Okay, and I got this Romans size 32W. This is just a semi sheer v neck button down with. I don't know if that's long sleeves or three quarter sleeves. Hmm, I'm not sure. I think it's long sleeves. But this is a, it's kind of hard to show here. It's a high low top. I don't know if you can see. It's just, I don't know. So you would definitely need to wear something under it, a tank top or something. It's kind of a cream color. It looks brand new. All right, what is this? Woman Within. This is a size 1X. It's a cute boho style top. This one's really soft. Okay, a lot of stuff here. This is another Patty Boutique size medium. This is, this is another tank but it's gathered kind of gathered on the sides so that it drapes in the front and then I have this Eden and Olivia flannel three-quarter sleeve top it's a button down probably should have buttoned it up but oh well Eden and Olivia size small these are really, really soft tops. I looked up comps on this brand. They're not that great. Um, I picked these up and didn't check it in the store just because flannel's been doing really good for me lately and, and they felt really soft and like good quality. But when I got home, the comps didn't look too great. So I may just put the two of these shirts together and sell them as a lot. They're the same size, same style. And then we have this Everly dress. This is a size small. It's just a lined um, lace sleeveless dress. Zips in the back. Hopefully, we start wearing dresses again soon. Okay, this is Lily, Lily White, size medium. It's a bell sleeve top. And this is a brand that I know isn't not going to fetch very much, but this top is just adorable. At least I thought it was. Um, has the buttons in the back. Well, they both work, but one's unbuttoned with the little openings in the front and the back. And we have this Land's End swim top. With the, this is a size 12, has a built-in bra, which is adjustable. It is that time of year. You gotta start hunting for swimsuits. What I hate about these, I wish I would list a, a bust size. Some brands do, some don't. This one does not have it. Because people always want to know the cup size. I, I have no idea. I wouldn't even begin to guess. But I, as a buyer, I would want to know too. So Next we have this Eileen Fisher, size extra large. Just a basic three-quarter sleeve t-shirt. In a light blue. 
That's just a string on the front. You saw that. Okay, then we have this waffle knit. Robe. White with black trim. Fuzz floating all around me. This is... No idea. Alfano Luxury, 100% Pakistan cotton. I don't know, but that's cute. Looks new. So I picked it up. We have this size small theory top. I'm always hesitant to pick up anything white because I look and look and look and I think it looks great. There's no stains. I get home and always found one, but I've looked this over three or four times and so far I haven't found anything. So I think I did good this time. This is a size small. I believe that has three quarter sleeves as well. Okay, this one has lint, fur, something all over it. It still has to be cleaned up. This is a, what is that, Sebi? S-E-B-B-Y? Never heard of that. Anyway, it's just a coat. Goodness. Maybe I should have put this one together before I got it out. Okay, it has a hood. Let's see. Well, you just have to trust me. It's cute. It's hard to show, but it's cute. Okay, the rest of the clothes are on hangers. So they've been, what I could wash has been washed. They're ready to be steamed and photographed. So I'll show you the best I can on the hangers. This is Tracy Negotian. This is a size extra large. Has the bell sleeves. And then we have a Land's End sweater. This is an extra large. So that's 18 to 20. It's a full zip with the flat pockets. Flap pockets. Just a basic sweater. And we have an Ann Taylor sleeveless draped top. Um, it ties on the side at the bottom. This is a size large. It's just a red and white stripe. It's a really cute top. I'll probably end up keeping that one for a little while. Okay, this is a Zozo suit. Um... I've never heard of this, but I, I have. I did look them up. I can't even remember what the comps were, but there were quite a few. I'm not going to take it off the hanger, but it's just got the pull-on pants that go with it. At first, I thought this glowed in the dark or something. I don't, I don't know. have to try it and see if it does, maybe. I don't know what size this is. It is a size 6. So, if anyone needs a Zozo suit... Okay, we have this Nike top. Is this Nike? I thought it was Nike. Y'all, give me a minute. Yes. Just a Nike racerback tank. It doesn't really have a built-in bra, but it does have the, it's not wire, it's just a little thicker around the bottom of the breast area. And this is a Hot Topic, size medium. I, I would never wear this myself, but I just thought this was so adorable. Kind of reminds me of the Adams Family. I don't know, it's cute. Okay. Yeah, and then we have this Land's End. This is a full zip fleece. Jacket in a 1X. It has a hood. This is a longer waisted. It has the elastic waist. The side pockets. 
We have these Victoria's Secret lounge pants, pajama pants, whatever you want to call them, in an extra large. They're just a silky, not silk, silky filling pajama pants with a drawstring waist, ribbon waist. Then there's this Gilligan, o Gilligan and O'Malley pajama set in a size large. It's almost Christmassy looking. And then I'm trying to show you the bottoms without taking this all apart. Yeah. It has a faux button fly. The buttons are not functional. They're just there for looks with the drawstring waist. Okay, next we have this DKMY size extra small sweater. Um, we are getting into the time of year where normally I would be starting to look at more spring and summer stuff, but when they have these half off sales, if it's cheap enough, I don't, I don't worry about the seasons as much when it's that cheap because it's going to sell eventually. Okay, then we got, got this Paper Moon by Stitch Fix. This is just kind of a loose, flowy tank top. Zips in the back. Yes, okay. It does zip all the way up. Just a polka dot and floral print. Then I found this, okay, believe it or not, this is the first, and it's not that great, but it's kind of cute. The first Lululemon piece I have ever found in the wild. I've ordered a few pieces on Poshmark to resale, but I've, I've never just found it. So this is a kind of blue and black on white tie dye. I don't even know what size this is. I'll have to look at that a little bit later. I was very excited to find anything Lululemon. Okay, then we have this Susan Graver top in a medium. Susan Graver is not a, um, doesn't sell for a lot for me, but it always sells pretty quick. She seems to have a following. You can see it's kind of gathered to the side on the bottom. But correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't she sell like on some home shopping network, something? I don't know, but what she's, I mean, it's good quality clothes and it always sells pretty good for me. So if it, at the right price, I pick it up. So next we have a Reebok tank top. I can't see the size. I'm not even gonna try right now. One thing I hate, I hate is my, thrift store, when they mark stuff up, they put it on the clothes sometimes. I can't stand it to even be on the tags. Just put a, put a tag on it. Okay, then we got this L.L. Bean size extra large full zip jacket. This one does not have any pockets on the side. But cute. Cute jacket. Uh, I don't know if I said it, but it's an extra large. I found this Ralph Lauren dress. This is a size 10. Just a cute summer floral print. It's kind of a fit and flare with the little pockets. Pockets are always a bonus. And then zips in the back. It's the green label. Okay, then I found, it. okay. Here's this brand again that I can't say. Arev, it's an anthropology brand. This is an adorable dress. Um, actually, I don't know if this is, a, I think it could be a dress or a tunic, but a little summer dress. I believe it has the tie, the tie in the back. Contrasting colors on the bottom. And it has the cross straps in the back with the little opening. Adorable. Oh, I wish I could still wear stuff like that. Okay, this is Fermiana. This is new with tags. I found this brand one other time. I had never heard of it, but I found about three or four tops. They were Lily by Fermiana, and I, those sold in just a few minutes. Again, not a, not a high-end brand, but they sold really fast. So when I saw this again, new with tags, I said, I'm, I'm going to pick it up and give it a shot. This is an Azalea by Fermiana dress.
and it's a size extra large. This is a size medium, beach lunch lounge, three quarter bell sleeve top. This can be worn on or off the shoulder. This is, I, I love beach lunch lounge stuff. It's so comfortable. Right. Then I found this loft dress. This is a size 12 petite. It is not vintage, but it looks so vintage. I just, I love this dress. Love it, love it, love it. It's got a little peephole front. I don't know what you call that, but a little opening in the front. Zips up the back. Then we have some leggings. These are, I think these are just RBX. Yeah. Size small. Uh, they look capri length. I normally wouldn't pick these up, but again, they were half price, and they did have this cute little on the leg. I thought it was cute. It's kind of sheer towards the bottom on one side of the leg. Next is this is another pair of yoga pants. Sorry, rattling these hangers. What is this brand? I know I saw it. Well, anyway, maybe you'll recognize the logo. It has the word yoga in it. The brand does. I just can't remember exactly what it is. But just a pair of purple yoga pants with the cut out legs. Get my hand up in here and see if you can kind of tell. Of course, they're a little more open than that on your leg. Your leg spreads it out a little more, but it's like that all the way down the side of both legs. And these Evolution and Creation, size small. I just thought this was a fun print. This is definitely a very high-waisted pant. I, I love the print. On these. Hey, I'm tired. This is a lot. Okay. We'll get, we got about probably 14 or 15 more pieces. We'll be through the end. This is a Torrid, size 2. Floral print sundress. It's adorable. and But they marked it up and wrote all over the top, or the inside of the dress again. I really wish they wouldn't do that. Okay, then I found this pair of Lane Bryant, new with tags. Jeans, they are a lot of their boot cut. Yeah, they're a size 14. Um, super stretch, tighter tummy boot. And I've got these 511 tactical shorts. I've got another pair hanging up still. I won't even pull those out to show you. These are size 6. And then I have another pair still hanging up that are a size eight. I get a lot of the pants and tops in 511 Tactical, but I've never seen the shorts. I think they had about six pair. I just grabbed two of them to kind of see how they do. If they do well, hopefully they'll still be there in a week or two. Okay, next I have this Promessa. Size medium dress. It has a little side ruffle. It's kind of a faux wrap dress. And if I pronounce that wrong, yeah, I'll butcher the English language every day. So when you start throwing these words at me, okay. It's a pair of J. Crew size four. Trousers with the paper bag waist and the tie sash. These don't look like they've ever been worn. They're a straight leg. Okay, this, I believe this is an Adidas. Yeah, Adidas Climacool size 10 skirt. 
with the pockets in the front, the hidden side zipper. We have this Verve, Verve, size large. Uh, I don't know, is this a top or a tunic, guys? I don't know. But it's really cute. Whatever it is, it's adorable. And then I found this dress. What do they call these? Is it a paper bag dress? I I can't remember. I haven't seen one in a while, but it ties at the side. And this is 100% linen. But the only thing, I don't know what brand it is or anything else. The only thing I found was the materials tag. Just kind of a khaki color. Very cute summer dress. And then, I, I don't know why I got this. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into it. It's Spanx. It's a large, extra large something. I don't know what. I don't know if that's how big it's supposed to be. If it's shrank, I have no idea, but I will right, find two out. Two pieces and we're done. Got this size double extra large gap wrap dress. This is so cute. It's a maxi dress. And last but not least is this loft size 12, new with tags pants. These are high rise straight, straight through the hip and thigh, if you can see that. These are very, very nice pants. But they have faux pockets, why don't they have real pockets? We need pockets. But anyway, these are high, high rise, straight legs. Yeah, that is everything for this haul. For the next few days, I have a few boxes coming in from Poshmark. I found a great seller on Poshmark. At least I hope she's great. I haven't gotten her stuff yet. I've ordered from her twice. I'm getting ready to order again. She has some really nice stuff that she's selling really, really cheap. It looks like she's just kind of emptying her house out. Most of it is geared more towards winter, so I may not sell a lot of it now. But anyway, over the next few days, I hope to have those items in and be able to show those to you. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.